know, to have such a, a lifting sort of comeback and to win it, you know, you know, it was, uh, it was a fantastic sort of start to a, to a grand final. And, uh, you, know, the, you know, we, but we had the same time, we had to handle the grand final week, uh, you know, very, very cautiously. I declare Gavin Wagner, the 1993 Brownlow medalist. For years, players and officials have been trying to get out of it. But every year, the grand final parade just gets bigger and better. It was like Moomba today as the warring clans met to wish the players the best one last time before tomorrow's 97th AFL grand final. Who's going to win? Uh, what do you reckon Essendon's going to win? Taking a new route from the art centre up Swanson Street to Melbourne Central in perfect Melbourne spring conditions, Melbourne showed once again that it is the sporting capital of Australia. Well, Sydney celebrating its success in the Olympic bid. Melbourne today turned out for its special celebration. On the eve of the grand final, the first one in three years where it's been an all-local affair, Essendon and Carlton dragged the crowds out in their thousands. The luckiest kid in Melbourne was seven-year-old Matthew Bell of Geelong, who won a ride along with Brownlow medalist Gavin Wanganeen, while Kevin Shooty brought his whole family along for the ride. You don't see them that often over there, uh, unfortunately, at the childhood sometimes, but um, I get home a bit late at night and my early in the morning, and uh, that's a bit of a day for them. I think. Wife Geraldine had to be content to just be a spectator. The crowds were eight deep once again showing that AFL football still has an amazing grip on this city. Some literally had gone bananas. We're talking about our sort of a few things that we're going to hit Carlton with and 